phenomenal foodies. I just left the grocery store. I am on my way home. I am off today and I'm going to be cooking something delicious. I think I am going to cook mussels. I love mussels. I think I'm going to put them in a nice white wine, uh, cream, maybe some dill if I have it, onions, garlic with some crispy maybe garlic bread. I'm really excited. I want you guys to come in, enjoy this video, enjoy a little eating time with me. As T.S. Madison would say, step your pussy game up. But nope, we're gonna step our cooking game up here over here at Phenomenal Food. But anyway, let's get home and we can get together and make this beautiful, beautiful, delicious this. Thank y'all, let's go. Okay everyone, so we're back in my little small kitchen here. Uh, I've got our mussels already cleaned and de-bearded, the ones that needed to be de-bearded. Okay, so this pan is getting hot, it's a small pan. I'm gonna put just a little bit of olive oil in there. And here are our ingredients. We've got bacon, which I'm gonna go ahead and put that bacon in now. Okay, move that around a little bit. I just wanna render out some of that fat. Bacon is rendering all that fat out of it. And this is gonna give us a lot of flavor um, in our muscles good. So, we go ahead and let that continue to render so it's just not really, really crispy, but it has a little like, like brown color. So that's about right. We got a nice little brown on there. We have a lot of oil from the bacon and a little bit of that um, olive oil that I put in earlier. So let's go in now. With about two tablespoons of onions, just about a quarter of a red onion is what this is. And I haven't added any salt yet, so you know bacon has salt in it. And we're just going to throw that around. The onions have cooled that off just a little bit, or at least cool down the, the oil in the bottom. We're going to put the garlic in. I'm putting the garlic in now because I don't want the garlic to burn. So I got my other important pieces in. Just turn around just a little bit. Not much. And the garlic is so burning. I wish y'all could smell this. It smells so good. I'm gonna hit it now with just a little bit of dill weed. And please, by all means, use fresh dill weed if you have it. But I just have dry, so that's what I'm gonna use. Alright. Put about a minute and a half. So now let's go ahead and put in some white wine. I'm using some pina grigio here. Just a little bit. Not much. Okay. And then we're gonna continue to do that now. We're making a bit of a kind of like a hot liquor almost. You put our muscles in. As that cooks off, we are going to now add a little heavy cream. Now, I'm just going to stir this a little bit and I'm going to just taste what it tastes like. And it does need a pinch of salt. So now we can add a pinch of salt. Actually, I'll put two pinches of salt in there. Cook our, let me turn this fan off. We want to cook our mussels now in this little bit of pot liquid that we have. I have about two pounds of mussels. I don't think two pounds are going to fit in here, but we should be able to get at least a pound or so. Okay. Actually, it's less. So let's just stir these around in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lid on top of these mussels. And in about three or four minutes, I'm going to come back and they should be ready to go. It's an old pan. I'm just going to put a little olive oil in there. Turn it on high. Take some of this mountain bread that I got from my favorite store, Publix. And just turn it around in there to make some quick like garlic toast points. So that's about it. There are mussels, and I'm gonna put some more fresh dill all over them. And they're ready to serve. Let's eat. I've got my glass of wine here and we have our mussels this is really hot I have this in the pan that I cooked them in so if you guys can see 
be fat on me. So you can see how good these muscles look. Look at that. All that cream and bacon and white wine. Put that back there. Okay. Okay. So let's get into this, right? Here are our mussels, and we're gonna get some of that delicious pot liquor that we cooked those mussels in. First bite. Mmm, that's delicious. Mmm, mmm, -hmm. really good. So. What are you guys up to today? Mmm, I'm so hot. What are you guys eating today? Mmm, this is so good. Mm. Y'all saw my last video with T.S. Madison. And we were talking about like relationships and stuff like that and um, you know, dating and my bad luck with it. No, what y'all think? I mean, I'm 43. At this point in time, I don't have time for the bull crap, the lies, you know, the secret girlfriends type of, you know, crap and all that. Who wants to put up with that crap? I know I don't. I've had enough of that foolishness in my life. Especially the lies. Why can't people just be honest? I got a girlfriend, I'm dating someone, I'm da 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 da, you know. I prefer just to be honest with people. This is what the deal is. Not like I'm perfect or nothing, not like I've never made any mistakes. I've made mistakes before. Mm. Bring that muscle out. Yum. You know, we all make mistakes in life. Yeah. Some bread. And I'm putting it into the sauce. Mm. What do y'all think? At a certain age, you just say, like, forget it, I'm not anymore. Or should you, like, you know, continue to pursue stuff? Like, I'm just at my point where I'm not going to pursue anything with anybody. And I'm just not, that like, thirsty no more. <laughs> you know, when you're young, you can be kind of thirsty for a relationship. But... It's nice to have one, but I'm so weird because I'm not attracted to people very often. So I can meet like this, like great looking guy, just beautiful, have everything going for himself, and my dumb ass will not be attracted at all. I'd rather just have a V8 and be bothered with it. You know, because you be nice to people and you're kind to people and they turn around and they do some of the most mean things with you, share your personal information, and, you know, and then they twist the shit to boost themselves up and make you look like the crazy person. Or like you're like a desperate, oh, she was just chasing me down because I'm just Mr. So-and-so and so-and-so and so. Boy, -so -so. bye. No. Who reciprocates? is who gets attention. If you don't give someone attention, they don't reciprocate. And people reciprocate a lot more than they're willing to admit. But I guess people want to feel good in front of their friends and so on. So they'll use whatever it is you got going on to make themselves seem like they're more wanted or whatever. Which is so stupid because 
Only thing I want right now in my life is money. <laughs> oh, phenomenal foodies. These muscles are delicious. Mm. Mm. I got shells coming out on the bottom. Oh, this is about it. I ain't gonna sit on here much longer. We have to eat responsibly. Well, it's my first cooking slash mukbang video. I hope you guys enjoy this delicious dish. It's very easy, it's very simple. It's something, ladies, gentlemen, especially my dating people out there, that you can make and impress someone with. Have them over for a dinner date at your house versus going out and spending money. Um, I thank you guys so much for joining me and my phenomenal foodies. I will see you on my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.